welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you watch on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on our favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, when I was young, I used to be a huge fan of Samuel R. Delaney. And he's written a whole bunch of different books. And there was one book that I thought was really, really interesting that sort of stuck in my head. And it was called Stars in My Pocket Like Grains of Sand. And there was one particular thing in that book that stuck in my head as well. And speaking of sticking in your head, basically the concept that they came up with was something called general intelligence. I guess it was like GE, but it was called GI, general intelligence. And the way it would work is that orbiting around the planet you were on, I'm not even sure this was Earth, orbiting around the planet that you were on were AI. There were orbital AIs around this planet. And when you were born, what would happen is that it would stick an implant into your head and the moment you thought of a question the question would get translated by this implant up to those mobile AIs or those orbital AIs the AI would get the answer to the question and then fire it back into your brain so you never needed to know anything all you had to do was think how do I do this how do I do that bam 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 the knowledge gets shoved right into your brain and if you don't remember something like that, because there's not too many people who are fans of Delaney, The Matrix. Do you remember The Matrix? The scene where Trinity just needs to learn how to fly a helicopter, so Tank just sort of jacks it in, and boom, seconds later, she knows exactly how to fly a helicopter. You see, if folks, if you ask me, that is the future of education. We are going to get to a point where we don't need to be educated. <laughs> you're probably you're probably thinking to yourself, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Education is unnecessary? I'm like, hmm, think about it for a second. Our world changes so rapidly, so rapidly, that education, and education is a lagging factor, right? I mean, when if you go to any traditional classroom today, I'll bet you anything that some of the stuff that they're teaching is probably already out of date. It may even be super new, but it's all probably already out of date. Look at coders. Coders are mostly self-taught. And the reason why they're self-taught is because things happen so quickly in the coding world that they need to educate themselves on what the next thing is in coding. That's the world of coding. The world of coding changes so quickly that doing any kind of formal education in coding might give you a foundation, but everything beyond that, you need to stay on top of it. And that's perfect for AI and perfect for things like ChatGPT. So at some point in the future, it might be a far future, I don't know, we're going to automatically put get the answer to every question we ever had. Just think of it as just in time training. I'm just about to do something. I need to know how to do this thing. So I'm trained immediately on the fly by some kind of AI. It doesn't necessarily need to be in my brain. It could be me working with it or chatting to it or whatever. And I think I mentioned this before, is that I was learning a brand new app. I've never used this app before. And I thought to myself, okay, I need to figure out how to get up to speed on this app. And I need to figure out how to get up to speed on this app quickly. So I thought to myself, what are my options? So I could either take a Udemy course, or I could take a class, or I could watch a video, or I could talk to ChatGPT while I'm learning. And in each case, the most effective one was not watching a video, not going to a regular class. Because you think about it, if I go to a regular class, by the time I'm done, I don't have that need for that thing anymore. So what did I do? I had one window with the actual thing I was working on, and I had another window with ChatGPT, and I was asking it questions. I was saying, I'm stuck, or I'm trying to do this. How do I do this? It'll tell me. I'm trying to do this, how to do this, I mean, it'll tell me. It was like just-in-time training. I got more information from that session with ChatGPT than I ever would have had I sat down and watched a video, an eight-minute long video or whatever length video Google is forcing you to have nowadays so you can actually have a relevant video. And then the elements that I needed 
were already there. So it pulled out and told me exactly what I needed to know as I was working. I thought this is a perfect example of the same kind of just-in-time training the Delaney books or the Matrix talks about. And I'm saying this is so much more powerful than any kind of education that's out there. And if you think about the our entire education system, everything from from uh, childhood all the way through to high school, all the way through to college, we, our tools, are so advanced beyond any of all that stuff, it disrupts everything from the bottom to the top. It disrupts the entire thing. Do you even need to go to school, elementary school, middle school, high school, or college if you have the ability to get every answer within moments from ChatGPT? This system, and this system is ingrained. We've had this system for a hundred years and we're probably going to have it for another hundred more and we're going to pick at it here and there with AI here and AI there, but the overall system itself, because if you think about it, I mean, we, we literally could dismantle the entire education system. You could have a child born today, which is streamed through ChatGPT and AI instead of the school system, but the context that they're in would be so different that there's no way you could say a, there's a class or a grade or a, a, a score or whatever to judge this person by, right? We now literally have the tools to completely disrupt our entire edu education system from the top to the bottom. But all we ever do is pick at it and pick at it and pick at it. Is anyone out there, is any startup founders out there brave enough, courageous enough to go out there and use AI and create a brand new system of learning based on the technology that we have today and the power of AI that we have today to literally replace the entire set of educational institutions that we're using today? Because if you ask me, the entire thing, top to bottom, needs to be disruptive. Can you imagine a world where kids learn individually? They get taught individually. You have an individual tutor for every child from the moment that they can communicate with others that changes specifically to their level, that accelerates the kids that are fast and slows down for the kids that are slow. Can a human teacher do this in a classroom? Not without great difficulty. We can now literally educate every child individually and accelerate every child individually, give some help more to some kids, less help to other kids, but we don't. We still maintain our big monolithic educational system. Who can come in? and disrupt all of this? Who can create a elementary to college education in a startup using AI? I know there's a startup founder out there who can do this. Step up. I'd love to talk to you on the show. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Mm -hmm.